Welcome. This video is on the Microsoft Access Replace function with tips, tricks and formatting using no VBA code. I've created a table, table phone, with one field, phone, and entered phone numbers in different formats with parentheses, dash, double dash, space, dash. I'm going to create a replace function to replace these characters and the space with null values, leaving just a 10-digit phone number. So I'm going to create a query using table phone and the phone field. Now I'm going to create another field. I'm going to call it phone stripped. It's necessary to put this colon here because that's what designates this to access that it is a field. Now you can type your function here, but there's not much viewable space. You can use the expression builder, or you can type directly in a zoom box. So I'm going to start the replace function here. We're, we're replacing the phone, parentheses, character, with nothing. So two quotes with nothing between it is going to return nothing. So then we have to return the other parentheses character with nothing, the dash with nothing, and the space with nothing. Okay, so there's six parentheses, but two of them are characters that are being replaced. So we have four parts to the function. So we need to have four replace functions. Okay, four and four. I'm going to save it. Save it as query stripped and view. Okay, so here's the result. It took out all the characters and the space, leaving just the phone number. I'm going to open this form and set the record source as our query and the phone stripped as our phone stripped function. and the phone as the phone field. So when we view it in the form, it's the same result in a form view. So what I'm going to do now is take this function and copy it go back to the form take out the phone stripped field from the query I'm gonna zoom in I'm gonna put equals because the control source is going to equal this function rather than retrieve it from the field in the query and view it okay so we have the same result the only difference is when we have a new record, we're getting this error. So I'm going to go back in, zoom in, and I'm going to put if phone is not null, replace else blank save and view okay now that you see that new record is blank and the other records have been replaced okay so now you can do it in the query or you can do it in the field of the form with the equal sign um, one point here is if you're going to do it in the form just know that 
in the query, the field is referencing the table. If you do it in the control source of the field, it's referencing the form itself. So this phone is referencing this phone. So this can't be number or phone number. These have to match. So you would either have to change the name of this field to match the statement or change the statement to match the field. Now, if I change this record source from the query to a table and we save that, okay, we have the same result without using this query at all. I'm going to delete the query. Okay, so here it is because we have the statement directly in the control source to this field. We don't need that query. I've opened a different database. This one I've created a table authorized with one field, dealer net. I'm going to create a query using this table and a dealer net field. So what I want to do with this one is the dealer net uh, is dealer cost pricing. I want to disguise it. I want to change each number to a letter. I'm going to use the word authorized, which has 10 characters that don't repeat. So I'm going to call this, um, let's call it code. Okay, same thing. You can type your function starting here, but I'm going to go into the zoom box and So we're going to have another replace function. We're replacing dealer net one with a two with u. three with T. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this and copy and paste it from my notepad. Okay, so we have dealer net 1A to you uh, through to the D and authorized. So now we have 10 characters being replaced. So we need to have 10 replace functions. Okay, so here's five. I'm going to copy them. And paste it right here. So we have 10 replace functions and 10 characters being replaced. I'm going to save it. Uh, I'm going to save this query authorized. Uh, it's not right. Or was it? Okay. Um, we're going to view it. Okay, so we have the trailing zeros dropped off this trailing zero dropped off these zeros dropped off and we have decimals in some of these so I'm gonna go back and the reason I think we're losing those zeros is because it's currency so we're gonna replace format dealer net as currency and let's see what happens okay so now we have the trailing zeros replaced but we have dollar signs and decimals now and comma separators. So we need to go back 
I'm going to zoom in. We're going to add three more replace functions. Let me just copy three more replace functions. Paste them here. And now we're going to add, okay, the dollar sign is going to be replaced with nothing. The comma separator is going to be replaced with nothing. And the decimal is going to be replaced with nothing. Okay, so now we have 13 replace statements with 13 characters being replaced. I'm going to save yeah, invalid syntax. What did we do wrong? We. Um, dollar sign, comma, replace nothing, close, comma, comma, replace nothing. Oh, missing a comma here. Okay. And there it is with the trailing zeros replaced and the dollar sign decimals and comma separators eliminated. Okay, and just to show you the same thing we did with the phone number, you can copy this function. Go into this form. I'm just going to set this for the table. Dealer net is going to have a control source dealer net and the control source here we're going to zoom I'm going to put equals the function save it and view okay and here it is with the function directly in the control source of this field okay and again if you were going to use it in the field instead of in the query this dealer net has to match this dealer net so if this dealer net had a space this dealer net would have to have a space because this statement the function is now referencing this field directly All right i hope this was helpful if you have any questions comment below or send me a message thank you